If you're the type of person that loves making super tiny bases in Roblox SCP-3008, then this video is for you. Mini bases can be made in literally under one minute and they're also super fun to build. Now for those who need an intro, howdy Raid here, welcome back to an all new video, now let's just hop right into making these mini bases. Mini bases are so tiny, they're so cute, and they're really fun to make. And if you're somebody that's really short on time, let's say there's an employee chasing you, you're probably the type of person that wants to create a mini base. So there's a ton of different plots that you can create a mini base with, but the one that I recommend the most to start off when you're getting into mini bases is the shelf plot. It's the biggest one of the game, and as you know, it's got tons of materials. It's really easy to get pallets. I know I'm duplicating them in game right now, but still, you can run around and get so many pallets from this plot. Now, I'm going to add some some stairs to make it easier to get into the plot. Now look at that, you've got a nice and tiny little base made out of like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven little pallets. Now let's say you want to store all of your food in a bathtub. Surprisingly, a bathtub is going to fit into this base. So you can just spawn in a ton of food, whether it's apples, maybe some Dr. Bob that you want to throw in. Just drop it in. I'm just going to duplicate this to explain how much food you're going to be able to store in your base. I'm actually going to keep on doing it. How many Dr. Bob's can we fit in here? I know it's not very related to the video, but oh my god, that is a lot of Dr. Bob's. Jeez. Okay, they are flying out, dude. What? That's really funny. Okay, ignore the Dr. Bob's, but you've still got so much more space in your base. Maybe you do want to add more Dr. Bob's. Maybe you're just a Dr. Bob addict. Now, the cool thing about having a mini base on a shelf plot is that if you're tired of having so little space, you can expand your base by taking off a few pallets and adding more. So you can just add more walls to make your base bigger. But since you're watching a mini base video, you probably don't want to do that. So let's get on to the next plot. Now, this next mini base is probably the most most famous one. It's the easiest way to survive the night. All you're going to need is two wardrobes. So let's spawn in a second one. If you take the first one, you go inside of this one, you rotate this one, bring it closer to your base, add them together, and look at that. You've got the tiniest base in 3008. Sadly, you can't furnish this base. You can add a lamp if you want. Maybe you can store some food with you. I recommend actually making these on cafeterias if you're trying to survive. As you guys know, cafeterias respawn their food every few days, so if you're really trying to be a survivalist, just live on a cafeteria, steal all the food you can, and keep enjoying your mini base. Also, the really funny thing about this base is that you can use it to get up into the sky and live on a mini base in the sky. So look at this. We're just going to try to do this. By the way, guys, if you got this far in the video, go comment mini in the comments down below and subscribe for more daily Roblox SCP-3008 videos. This little glitch or trick, whatever you call it, is so fun to get up to the ceiling. So if you want to use this glitch or trick or whatever you call it to make a mini base up in the sky, feel free to do that. Now, you can use any plot to your advantage, especially this, like, bedroom plot. You can use one of these little parts of this bedroom plot to make a super tiny base, and you can use all these beds if you want. You can even crouch to go under all of these beds and have this weird little underground world. But personally, I would recommend just grabbing maybe a few tables or some pallets to build with. Using beds can get really annoying. Now, using a few tables, you can make a super tiny base with, like, a slide door whatever you want to add to your base and a ceiling and all of this can be done in a literally seconds just placing a bunch of materials together in this little bedroom plot look at that you've got a super tiny base i'm actually going to try to furnish it to add a little bit of the tiny aesthetic so try to get the smallest furniture in the game to add more space for example if you want like a big table instead opt in for something like this the uh, decor board just grab it bring it to your base and use it as a table it's much smaller and it'll waste so much less space. Now a lot of you guys understand that lamps in 3008 are pretty tall and annoying so they won't fit in a mini base like this so I recommend using table lamps. If you want another type of mini table, the mini coffee table literally has a mini in the name. It fits your base perfectly so you can bring that over to your table. Maybe you want to have like a mini kitchen or something. It'll fit really well. It also works well as like a mini window. I know it kind of looks a little bit wacky but you can still see the 
outside world, so you know, you've got a view. Trust me guys, you do not understand how tiny these are until you see them in person. Usually people build behemoths in 3008. If you wanted to, you could probably make a second floor to the mini base that would make it just a lot more wackier. It would look really goofy because it's so tiny. Now, if you ever find yourself in this plot, you can use all of these materials and these pre-made walls, which will save you so much time to make another mini base. So the cool thing is that this wall right here will actually serve as the main mini base wall and this wall will as well. So all you got to do is make this wall right here and a little wall right here and you've got another tiny base. And the cool thing is this base comes with food. So you're going to be getting a free mini base with snacks. So look at that guys, three kitchen tables right here, another three kitchen tables or maybe like pallets, whatever you're using right here and you are practically done with your mini base. Now if you guys want a well lit base that's got a really nice curved roof, try to use these curved TVs for your base. They only spawn in this plot and you really only need like three of them for your base. Now if you've got problems storing stuff, try to use the small bookcase, it takes up a lot of space. Remember guys, smaller stuff is going to save you so much space stuff like bean bags work much better than actual chairs sometimes you can even add your own play carpet if you want you know that's if you want to have a drippy cool base I've also found that these thin lights look really good in bases just like the table lamps they don't take up any space another really cool addition is the tiny table it makes the base feel just more like a regular base while still keeping everything tiny now, surprisingly, there's actually space to fit one of these fancy shelves. So if you're making a mini base and you're like collecting toys, you can place them right here and there'll still be more space to put something right over here. The possibilities are endless with mini bases. It's crazy. Now, just like the wardrobe base, you can actually take two tubs in game and add them together for a base that's a little bit taller than the wardrobe base, but still pretty small in its own way. Now, just like the wardrobe base, you can actually use anything with a hollow inside to create a nice mini base as long as you've got two of the item and for some reason if you ever find yourself in the play plot and you need to hide asap or you just want a really tiny base you can use two of these play carpets and add them side by side to the slide if you add both of these like this and just have them by the slide you can actually get under the slide and hide in between these two play carpets it's not the best looking base but still you'll be able to survive in a really tiny environment. This is the most claustrophobic thing I have ever built in 3008. I actually hate it so much right now. Now, if you ever find yourself on this bar table plot, you can use all of these tables as walls in a ceiling, and you can use these pre-made walls to your advantage. So remember to create a door somehow that you can exit, grab this, and pop it up as your ceiling. Look at that, guys. A nice little mini base that you can actually look through. Of course, it's not the prettiest base in the world, World, it looks really weird like some old-school submarine now if you're building in 3008 and you need more base ideas that playlist that just popped up on your screen has a ton of them subscribe for more daily roblox scp 3008 videos and i will see you all in the next one